We heard today that John Bolton, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, will be resigning at the end of his recess appointment in the, in the next few weeks. Why is this significant? Uh, for a number of reasons. First of all, John Bolton was not the right person for the job. Uh, he lacked political standing here in Washington, and he lacked credibility at the United Nations. Uh, George Bush had to uh, put John Bolton in place through a recess appointment because of the fact that last year he did not have the support uh, necessary to win his confirmation in Congress. Uh, therefore, he was already starting uh, from uh, you know, a bit behind uh, the gate. However, uh, throughout this year, I think he's also demonstrated that he doesn't have the temperament or the belief in the power of the United Nations, uh, its ability to help the United States advance its interests in the world to uh, qualify him for a, uh, a real appointment uh, through the Senate confirmation process. Uh, secondly, he didn't look like he was going to be able to uh, have the support necessary to win confirmation this time around. Certainly after the elections with the change of power in Congress, uh, the Democrats, who have always been opposed to John Bolton, uh, continue to be. And you had uh, many Republicans, including Lincoln Chafee, uh, who, although he lost uh, his, his seat in the most recent elections, has stated that he was not going to vote uh, to send John Bolton out of the Foreign Relations Committee, and his vote was absolutely necessary in order to uh, move it forward. Uh, the options that President Bush had were minimal. He could have put John Bolton in place through a separate recess appointment, but that had all types of, of legal and constitutional uh, problems. Uh, it's likely that it's, it's, it's uh, illegal to put a, uh, a person in this, into a recess appointment uh, for a second time in the same position. They would have had to have uh, appointed him as a, a deputy ambassador, elevated him to acting chief of mission, but uh, many believe that if you were to do, if George Bush were to do that, uh, they wouldn't have been able to pay John Bolton. He might not have even been able to use uh, UN facilities. So it's a positive development that George Bush chose not to go that route, that he abandoned his initial statements after the election that he was going to uh, continue to push hard for his man. And, and moving forward, hopefully we can find somebody uh, who not only believes in the institution, believes that it can help the United States uh, move forward uh, in our interest, that uh, we can find somebody who understands diplomacy, the most basic quality you need in an ambassador is diplomacy, John Bolton didn't have it, and somebody who can move forward on UN reforms in a meaningful way, uh, not an antagonistic way, and marshal the support uh, to move a number of processes forward in the UN.